Hey up everybody, I'm going to move on to the next part of my steam locomotive that I'm building uh, so I'll bring you over to workbench, we'll have a bit of a recap and then I'll show you the next part that I'm going to make for this Right, last part then, you'll have seen where I've made the the valves for the cylinder and that's more or less now I've got the cylinders all completed there is some other jobs to do on them but I'm going to leave them till later I've got the 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 manifold block to make or the flange for the steam pipe I've got the exhaust to make that comes into the uh, smoke box I've got all the nuts to make, the domed headed nuts etc just a few things really to tie off on them but I'll revisit that later so in this part then I'm going to do have a look at the way shaft components that fit in these three holes on the frame here and this is part of the bigger picture of the valve mechanism which operates the valve that I made in my last video in the cylinder and it's operated from this lever in the cab for your forward and reverse gears right just for anybody that's not quite sure what I'm talking about here with this way shaft I'll just do a brief explanation so the actual way shaft that I've shown you in a previous clip on the loco fits onto the frames inside the loco frames with that tube then the actual way shaft comes out and fastens to these slider blocks the slider blocks then in turn have a slider inside which is connected to the vibrating arm which connects to the return crank on the wheel so as your wheels going round it's moving it's rocking the valve block which in turn moves the valve rod which in turn moves the valve back and forth on top of the cylinder and then also on this side of the loco is connected the reversing lever which gives you your forward and reverse gears by altering the orientation of this block to different positions so that's a simplified version of how that works now on the meter made that I made in a, in a previous project that had six wheels which in turn altered the position of this and how I got that position was from the general arrangement drawing on the meter made because I've not actually got any drawings as such for this loco or the meter made I just work from this book and this is a feature from a magazine what's what, what I'm working to here I think it's probably the model engineer but I'm not 100% sure about that so I've got this feature from a magazine which I work to and I've also got Jack Butler's book which these are extracts from and you, from the book to the feature you always get some slight variations on some of the drawings not all just some but you also have to make sure that you read the drawings in conjunction with the text because a lot of the information on this of the drawings is actually embedded in the text so that's the that's what you have to do if you've not got no full size drawings to work to because you've not got all the information on the drawings an example of that is it on the actual feature from the magazine tells you to braise these brackets onto the actual tube of the way of the way shaft but in the book there's no there's no mention of that on the drawing but it does mention it in the write-up and then it also mentions that there was, there's a modification to do if you want to do it without brazing it where you turn 
the step on the tube so that the brackets fit up to the step to the given dimension of your locomotive frames. So that's the dimension you have to work to on your locomotive. Because if you use different thicknesses of plate to make the frames, obviously this inside measurement's going to be different. So to make sure you get it correct, take the measurement from the inside of your frames to get that measurement. So I'm not going to be brazing this, I'm going to be doing it like it says in the book, which is to turn, I'll call it a spigot on each end of that tube, to put the brackets up to that, which then will give me the inside measurement of my frames, then that will be bolted onto my frames there. So the modification, because it's not being brazed, you put you go up to the step on the tube and then you put a locking screw in from the top into a dimple in the tube and you can also lock tight the tube into the brackets to belt and brace it. Well that's the method I'll be using anyway. As for materials for this, I've had a, a bit of a rummage round my stock and uh, the only thing I've got that's going to be suitable is this 5 8 bar I've got this piece 3 8 um, mile steel bar so that will be for the shaft and then the brackets it, has, it tells you in the right up here to use 3 16 plate I've not got no 3 16 plate I've only got 5 millimeter maybe 20 thou bigger than it says on the drawing but that doesn't matter as long as I get the actual fit between the frames correct because this, all this is in fresh air in the middle. Well that's the two brackets made now, I've not drilled these three holes in each one because when I get the tube done that fits in those I'll then put it onto the loco frame and transfer the holes from the frame that way I can guarantee it'll, it'll fit properly.
just off camera then I've cut this piece of 3 8 bar that I had down to the length required 7 and 7 eighths at 5 16 diameter half inch in each end so that's going to fit into that tube now but before it does I've just got to make some bronze bushes for each end 5 eighths long press fit into the tube and then once I've got those bushes made and fitted I can go over to loco then and uh, put this in between the frames to uh, mark the holes out on the frames for the brackets then it's two 6BA studs down the centre um, to secure them brackets on that tube I've got the bronze bush bushes fitted now, <coughs> all Loctited in, and if anybody's making one of these locos, just a point to watch here, the bronze bushes should project outside the edge of the tube by 1 64th. I've got the brackets drilled for my grub screws so I can fit fit the brackets on now I'm not going to lock tight them just yet but I will do eventually so uh, I can take this over to loco now and fit it in position and then mark the holes off the three holes on each side for the fixing screws I've got everything in position um, I've set the height to the correct height on both sides so I'm going to spot the, these two holes while, while the clamps are on then I'll put another clamp on this, on this side and spot the other hole and then I can drill them Well that's it for the way shaft then and it's uh, bracketry etc. So uh, I think I'll call that it for this one. I'll move on to the next part of valve mechanism in the next video I think. So if you found that useful and interesting give me a thumbs up and a subscribe I'd appreciate that. And I'll catch you next time then. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.